here we go guys so we're into the final finally so we're meant to start in p8 but i kind of disputed it a small bit and then i worked it out that we was meant to start in p7 so i just left it and i was kind of thinking ah leave it um, starting on the outside might be a bit better going into turn one as learning from heat two with brian get a little bit of a better run you get a better, better, bit better of an exit so we didn't get off the line unfortunately the way we wanted and with michael wilson not in the race he was meant to be on front of me so there was a little bit of space and i was like right we might just get a good run but unfortunately brian bogged decided to sell a load of turf to all the lads the smell of a turf fire can't beat it of a Sunday morning so here we go onto the start finish straight we'll see now Brian just bogs a little bit oh do you want to buy some turf anybody I've got turf for sale come on let's go go Pat Walsh got a good start on us so now it's just a case of Getting out of the annoyed head that I was at. I was like, oh god, I can't believe it. Kill him. Uh, just what I didn't want to have in a bad start. But Brian got the worst. Pat got a good one. Gained two positions out. One anyway. Uh, so now we're into sixth. Oh, he overcooks it. He overcooks it. Oh, be the god. Lost a bit of time there. Tried to get right up him. Right up his hole. It's also wet. It's also well and good being right up on his bumper. The only problem being is, the only problem being is that you actually have to uh, make around the corner. So without Michael in the race, we've we've got. An extra position. So we're in sixth. Flying it. Flying it. Getting out of that corner nice there, buddy. Keep her lit, babe. Jump on them brakes and get it around that corner power down, yeah, buddy. Go for gold, bud. I can smell your ass, Pat. I can smell your ass. We're moving well, lads. We're moving well. The boys aren't pulling as far away as they were in the previous two races. You nearly have him. Come on, Kieran. Keep pushing. There's Brian on the outside. Is it? it might have been. There's Brian on the inside now. He doesn't have. What's it? Uh, cut back. The slingshot. Ricky Bobby. Uh, Ricky uh, Boopy. Shake and bake, buddy. Letting off the accelerator a little bit early there. Keep that power down, you might just get a tenth or two, like I've tried the whole lap, if you just stay on it that little bit more. It's starting to uh, put in some consistent laps now. Not as many mistakes. We're flying. Whoop is inside. Go on! That's it. Back into sixth. Out a boy. 
got a nice exit there. Yes, buddy. Actually got a little bit back on Brian there, but then you'd lost twice as much coming into that corner. I'm, I'm, I'm actually so annoyed at myself I just seen that. Oh. Send it across them rumble strips. I'm breaking a bit too early. Well, coming off the accelerator too early now. Need to be pushing a bit further. But I tell you, lads, first time out on the track on the sun, they say proper because on the Saturday I couldn't really say that that was a day out because, what was it, seven, eight laps? No breaks anyway, so... To go from 48 second laps down to 46 and only seven, eight tenths off the lead, guys, with never been here before, I'm pretty chuffed, lads. Incredible race, like... I'm not too far away from the headlands there they are there, like coming on the return trip. There's not much in it. The ability seems to be there, you might say, to an extent. It's just the old... Uh, the old ball bag it needs to be a bit bigger. Grow up here. Like the funny thing is, lads, when people be watching the video or right, and like you might get a comment off them saying like, ah, you're not that quick, are you? Lads, lads, let's get something right here. These are not rentals. These are not to be messed with, like, they're so fast. Now, in saying that, there is faster, the X30, the gearbox. But when you never really drove a go-kart apart from rentals and then jump onto one of these, you get, you get a dose of reality of how fast a go-kart is, that's... Video is one thing. When you're sitting an inch off the ground doing 65, 70 odd mile an hour, it's... it's nuts. It's just incredible. Onto the, onto, onto the start, finish straight, go across. The lane! so far away from the line now that the line is a dot to me. Getting a bit tired now, you can see it in the driving. Not putting the power down in places that he could have been. Takes its, takes its toll on your body, lads. It really does, like, it's just... When a track is really, really rough, your ribs get really, really sore. Takes its toll. It's great though. Bomber in there, lads, I tell you. And then there's Roddy! God, don't you. Don't. Oh, that a boy, Roddy. See the traffic. Somebody whipped out the red light. Oh, lads, now we're into fifth. Roddy had a bit of a spin. Then. Them three compressions or so in turn two. I tell you lads, that just throws you. It's so easy. And you're flying. Next of all, you dab the brakes and you hit the bumps wrong and you're spinning like it happened to me in one of the sessions in the day anyway. In the practice session actually happened. It was nuts. So currently we're sitting in where P5 and at this time Pat is 
If I had a, I, I need to get a rear view facing camera, lads. I need to. Um, Pat sitting on me, pushing me up there over there, lads. He is. He's pushing me. And Roddy then as well. Roddy's ridiculously fast. So we are kind of doing. The last two or three laps, you might say, we were just trying our hardest to. To just pretty much be a little bit defensive, but be as fast as you can, trying to run our own race, but be fast. And it was a little bit of a success, to be very fair. I just see there now, I didn't go out wide, I was cutting it in tight there to the left of the, after that corner, coming onto the home straight. I don't want to be cut up like I was in heat one with Pat Walsh coming on my inside just before the last, the, the checkered flag. Them tree bumps there, that's that torture. They just throw you around the place like. Use the rumble strips, buddy, that's it. You're getting around the track well. Just keep the power down. Put in. Oh, bye, Dixie. Out of bye. Surprised you can't like you can't hear Pat and and Roddy behind me keeping it as tight as oh, there goes Johnny R lads. Oh, I don't wanna say if I'm rubbing the people. I'm ah, I was so good for Johnny lads. Really a truly was. Like I don't wanna see Johnny not finish a race like Unfortunately his chain fell off. After all the prep work, after everything lads, it's something so simple that can just ruin your day or ruin your race. But it's just racing. As Johnny said, it was, it's just racing. That's what it is. I think that might have, that might have been the final lap. So I've just been super defensive here. Cutting it into the inside so he can't get on the inside of me. Coming across to the left because I seen him and we take the checker into Ford. So coming up the home straight there. This is why I need to get a rear view facing camera. There's Roddy, that a boy, Roddy. That a boy. Love it, buddy. And this is what it's all about here, lads. Look at it, look at it. Ah yes, the bromance. Love it. Um yeah, so from heat one when Pat took me on the inside going on to the home street on the last lap uh, saying thanks to the marshals there if I had I had a rear view facing camera you would have seen Roddy trying to cut up my inside so I can't even see me helmet move to the left I, I looked and I seen him and I just moved across like just feared yeah, he was coming lads so I, yes boy look at this look at this I get I get hung like a donkey here going thanks buddy thanks no, not a thing. <laughs> I didn't even get a wave. Ah, oh, it was devastating. Give me a wave or not, pal. Give me a wave or not. Getting the drop nose check. There you go. That was a great day. That was a great race. And we have battery. Even better. Oh, lads. What a race. That was a cracking race to the end, to be fair. Like, it was just so intense. Like, so as I was saying, I finished fourth. I think Roddy was fifth and Pat was sixth. It was in that, that let's say it was that order. The three of us finished within I think it was two tenths of each other. So there was like me at let's say forty six six and the other boys had like forty six eight and 4684 or something. It was crazy how tight it was. Like it was just ridiculous. Uh, talk about the head to the wire. If I didn't cut across Roddy, he had the run of me. Uh, fourth would have been a distant memory. As usual from all of my positions. We're getting there guys. We're getting weighed now for the final time. We never missed weight at all. We're weighing in at 180.5 now I think and that's what me put full tank of juice in it and everything and oh, it was crazy lads that Kieran take over here what a f***ing race. race oh yeah oh yes <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Ah, oh, lads, there's all the boys now, huh? So, there's the guys. Hey, what a race, lads, huh? There's Pa. Cracking race. Cracking race. It was. There we are, lads. Unfortunately, missing Michael Wilson from the picture, but class. So we've got Simon 27, we've got Johnny 33, and this is after got off my screen, just as I'm calling it, but we've got Roddy, Pat, Brian, Colin, ah, the the gang, the boys, ah, cracking race, lads, on to the next in White River. Cannot wait. It's going to be cracking, lads.